What is your view of the Bay Area in specific and Silicon Valley even more specifically in the development of venture capital? Why here? Several reasons. First of all, uh, you had two seats of learning at Stanford and Cal uh, that had a lot of technology available. Uh, secondly, you had a fellow named Fred Terman uh, at Stanford who was the father of trying to get technology companies going out here. Uh, I think he was the one that induced Hewlett and Packard to start Hewlett Packard in, in the garage. And also through Stanford, they began leasing out uh, a lot of the land uh, to companies to start doing it. Um, the climate, of course, is very important because so many people in World War II and in the Korean War coming from other parts of the country would go through here and see what the climate was like. And when they came back, they didn't want to go home to their snowy winters. Uh, and added into that is the fact, and part of it, is that so many people moved here. Uh, you know, it used to be, I don't know what it is now, but it used to be in the early days that uh, there were more people living in California who were not born here than who were born here. They all came from someplace. And they all had the gumption to get up and leave their settled communities in the East where they had family and friends and knew everybody and could have stayed comfortably for life and come out here to dare greatly. And to me, California has always been a place to dare greatly, starting with the gold rush. And uh, I, of course, knew about it from my early history uh, and for the library and the fact that my great-grandfather came out during the gold rush. But uh, I've always felt that it was the go-to place uh, to get things done. And as I said a little bit earlier, you weren't scared to make a mistake here. You'd yeah. dust yourself off and start again. And all these people would communicate quite freely with one another uh, in these different companies and trade ideas. Uh, and it was just a great place to be.